ye mo bibi ya kwa ba de ba smart gana update so we a eh, news update fufu okra ne de ba be somu abusia alan kojo chematin ishia eh, insem trefo ne wo insem trefo nsi emu na se no e eh, ade se odi insem bi tujwa efa eh, na na dodan kwa kofu ado ne rejection a otirimu a wa reject kwa me nkonu ma enya eh, ade se ohu ni se ono kwa e eh, na founding leader of Ghana ne no e eh, na alan kojo chematin chimu a obi ani hono ma obi timi ne kwa me nkonu ma apre ne pride ho abusia ya kwa kutie ni ya tosu mienu zoso wase awa mfuwa na omona mu na jesu omo kasa kasa keke without any substance ana nsi ya kura onkwa tinkwa tia obi peso watrese oma omo ba afona na afiwe tu ya ni wanzidi wanzidi eno no wazi wei substance bie ni e jise ibrene edru no e esa awa mfuwa efese enye kasa o keke na awa mfuwa be kasa kasa e di atuwa bwanti ni mum se ni pano o kaa no amu ne huse o the substance bi e ata ache tuwa se o ba o beye abu ziyana di e chato wapache o wapache o pa ama awa mfuwa omu susu se ono alan kujo che mati inti eno omu fe eno so e tuwa ba e de ma mpp eno eno chile ma o pache o ubi ya anfan cheno ne mum wase brene e dru isu idie ono anka sa hapchi ni tiso o ba e jiso ono so eno omu fe tuwa ba e de ma mpp ya for now die Omo disappointi ubi bia. Inti wabe sire se. Omo mfa saa kwenye anu. Nomu nina so. Nomu fan tuwa ba. Emo ono ala nko joche mati. Na no mu nimse saa na na MPP. Eba beye. Incidentally, there must not be any argument about the pride of place of Kwame Nkrumah in our history. There should be no debate, no argument about that. We deserve the leaders that we get. You talk about the great transformational plan. They say it's too complicated. You want statements. Somebody talks about a statement. And that, is that policy? You vote him into power because of a statement. And he comes into power and is unable to deliver. And now you are up in arms against him. When you are voting for statements and sound bites. Have we come to this level in this country with all the great minds that we have? that we don't, we are not interested in substance, we just say something. I'm not going to do that. If that is going to cost me the presidency, hey, we are going to deal with substance going forward in this country. That's, that is how the, the matured economies of this, can, of, of this world are where they are because of substance. You are going to stabilize the city. How are you going to do it? How? And you just make a statement. I'm going to give uh, mobile phones, one CD, pay. Is that a policy? Twenty-four hour economy. That everybody uh, there will be an opportunity to work twenty-four hours. Anyway, Ghanaians are saying that they want the substance behind these things. They want the substance behind these statements. Ghanaians are also worried that we've had a constitution for how many years now? Since 1992. And we are still living with this constitution. Again, it has to change. These reforms must come into being because it's part of the reason why we are not transforming because of the lack of these constitutional reforms. Alan Chermatin as president will make sure that the reforms are implemented. <laughs> Sorry? Oh, people voted for MPP because of me. Oh. I apologize to those people. Now vote for Alan to become president. <laughs> it's not all lost. You voted for MPP because of me. But now MPP has disappointed all of us. So now bring your own person into power and then you will not be disappointed. But this leads us on to uh, the last comment on how are we going to break through this monopoly of the NDC and NPP? I want to use this opportunity to tell you 
that the majority of Ghanaians have made up their mind that they, want, they don't want either MPP or the NDC. I'm sure most of you are aware of that. The unfortunate thing is that many of them seem to be suggesting that maybe they will not vote at all. But that is also no good for our democracy. So what they are hoping is that Alan will say firmly that he's going to contest. That's all they are waiting for. Because they've made it clear that they want a change. They are looking for an alternative. And they are hoping that Alan will make it clear. I'm making it clear today that Alan is going to contest to become the next president of the Republic of Ghana. And all the propaganda going around by some people within the MPP and those without saying that Alan is going to go back to the MPP has no basis and no foundation. What is the basis of that? I'm contesting as an independent candidate who is going to bring the first government of national unity into being. So what is this talk about? Oh, they are trying to convince him to go to uh, MPP. So let me clarify that once and for all. Alan is going to contest as a presidential candidate on his own merit. And I want this to be clarified. But to seal this matter, I've come from within MPP as a founding partner. I can tell you that MPP does not have more than one million committed registered voters. One million. They don't have it. All this talk about they have 47, 45, NDC has 45. They don't have any 45. They don't have it. The only reason why in the long run, when it comes to general election, they have either 6 million, 6.5, 6 million. It's because the people of Ghana have no alternative. So when it comes to election, then they have to choose between one of them. That is how the numbers come up. But I can tell you that they don't have more than 1 million registered committed voters. All of them are waiting for the right alternative. And to validate what I'm saying, 2020, there were 17 million registered voters. 10 million of the 17 were aged between 18 and 35. Hello? 10 million out of the 17 million people who were registered voters in 20, 20, 20, 2020 are aged between 18 to 35. These are the group of people who have lost faith in our democracy because the NDC and the MPP have not delivered, de delivered any dividend to them. And these 10 million people, they are there. What would be the basis for them now to have confidence in either MPP or NDC? Does it make sense no. that after 32 years in power, these are 18 to 35. Some of them have finished school five years. They don't have a job. And meanwhile, the NDC and MPP have not been able to convince them that they can do anything different. So the 10 million people are waiting for Alan to make a declaration that he's actually going to stand. And I'm standing because of the young people of this country. I've made it clear. It is a youth-led movement. It is a youth-led movement. I've already committed to the fact that 60% of my appointments, not ministers, all appointments will be between whatever, 22 to 45 uh, years, or let's say 50 years. I've already made that commitment, and it's going to ha happen. My vice president will be a young person. Yeah. And it will be clear, because me, I'm only a transition candidate. You see, the wisdom, the wisdom and the capacity and the grace that God has given me to serve President Kufour 
and make him a celebrated president, that same wisdom and capacity and knowledge he has given me to make a difference in President Kufuado's government is the same grace that the Lord is providing to me to be able to lead Ghana. And so, for me, you watch what is going to happen. Because people are going around confusing people. Alan, he's a fine gentleman. He's the right person. But they, won't, they will say that it's either NDC or NPP. It is not either NPP or NDC. It is not either NPP. Now the game is over. For the NPP and NDC. The game is over. The majority of the people know that there is nothing new that the NPP or NDC can offer. Right now, can you imagine that a new political organization, a new candidate contesting for president has come out with a substantive, not manifesto, a plan that we are discussing. Two parties that have been in power, they are now struggling with their manifestos. And frankly, a lot of the things that I've been hearing them say, it's all a repackaging of what is in the GTP. Many of the things they are talking about, just repackaging what the GTP has said. And I say these things in all modesty, but don't let them confuse you. The majority of the people who are going to select the next president, they've made a decision that it is not NDC, it is not MPP. And so, have faith and deliver Alan. Ghana will rise again. So thank you very much.